Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to create this kind of dynamic text animation inside Adobe After Effects. If you take a look at this animation, we have used only a single text layer. It's pretty simple and it's pretty easy. Let's take a look at how to create this. First of all, create a new composition for the duration you like. In this case, uh, I go with 5 seconds. Click OK. Now, create a type tool. You can type anything you like. Let's say this is it. Right. Now, the first thing is uh, you need to go to the paragraph panel and make it uh, center. And if you can go to the align panel, you can go to window and align. You can align the text center like this. Now, you need to expand the text properties like this. And here you can see the source text. By using this uh, source text uh, stopwatch, we can keyframe the source text. So let's say you turn on the stopwatch like this and you can see it create a hold keyframe. Now hold down the shift key and press page down to go 10 frames forward in the timeline. And you can type the next text uh, you like it. Let's say Donald Trump. Now again, hold down the shift key and page down key to go 10 frames forward and you can type whatever names you like. Repeat this process until you want to add all the names text you want to add. Now once you completed this and if you play this animation, you can see it will play like this. What is the meaning of uh, these keyframes? These are hold keyframes uh, that is uh, used inside Adobe After Effects. From this time to this keyframe, it will remain the source text, this one, right? So this is these are hold keyframes and when you jump into the next keyframe, it will change that. You can use the J and K on your keyboards to jump to the next keyframe. The K is the jump to the next keyframe. You can use the J to backward keyframe. And you can adjust the things uh, you like. Let's say you want to change the font color. You change it and press the K to go to the next keyframe. And you adjust the, let's say, a font. You want to change a different font like this kind of crazy font, right? Like this. You can make it bold or black like this. Change the font color you like. Make it blue. And hold down the K on your keyboard to go to the next keyframe and change this to something else. Whatever you like. Make it white. Why not? Right? By using uh, this method, you can animate the character styles. Let's play this again. Like this. Now, let's say uh, the speed of this uh, text changing is not sufficient. You can drag a rectangle box like this to select all the keyframe and then hold down all the key on your keyboard and drag from this key to make the duration to reduce the distance between each keyframe. Uh, let's say if you make this like this, as you can see, we have speed up the animation. If you want to slow down, you can hold down the alt key and move this keyframe to the right hand side. That way we can increase the duration between each keyframe. That means we can increase the uh, duration between each animation. As you can see now we have reduced the animation speed. So this is how you use the source text to animate character styles. This is a simple technique but you can if you think creatively, you can use this technique to create a lot of creative animations. If you haven't subscribed to Adobe Rider, please subscribe. I'll be back with the next video. Thanks.